remains the bureau with the most coronavirus. Today, hospitals in New York struggling under the weight of the pandemic. People come in, they get intubated, they die, the cycle repeats. Elmhurst Hospital in Queens, the bureau with the most coronavirus cases in the city, in the center of the outbreak. The hospital confirming at least 13 patient deaths within 24 hours. Right now it's every day. It's non-stop, literally. And uh, unfortunately, it might get to a situation you have to pick and choose what you're going to do, how you're going to do. And as the doctor said, a lot of people come, they not really survive, they expire, and you put the same machine on another person. As medical staff operates at their limit, hundreds of more people wait, lining up outside to get tested for COVID-19. But officials say the 545-bed hospital is overrun and in desperate need of medical supplies. Yeah, the, the system's overwhelmed all over the place. The shortage of safety gear at one New York hospital so dire, nurses have resorted to wearing trash bags. The situation in New York worsening by the hour. The state accounting for roughly half the cases across the country. This grim video shows teams setting up a makeshift morgue outside of Bellevue Hospital, something that was done during Hurricane Sandy and 9-11. 9-11 was nothing compared to this. We were open waiting for patients to come who never came. Okay, now they just keep coming. However, a small sign of hope, Governor Cuomo announcing that for the past few days, the rate of hospitalizations is slowing, although he cautions that the peak of the crisis could still be about 20 days away. The governor adds that while only about 15% of cases have required hospitalization, the state anticipates 140,000 people will need to be hospitalized, warning that he does not have enough beds or life-saving ventilators. And as med- that's enough, man. I'm going to start off by saying Baraka Thayahawa, Baraka Thayahawa Shah. Baraka Thayahawa, Baraka Thayahawa Shah. Baraka Thayahawa, Baraka Thayahawa Shah. Yahawa, Bashem, that was shy. Bashem, Rakar, Kodash. I can give double honors to the elders and the apostles at Great Millstone at Ruel. Peace, love, and citations to the Akimas out here pushing the truth with our truth and our sincerity. To you brothers, I like to say, Shalom, man. And, uh, yeah, man. It's Corona this, Corona that. Man, you don't know what to believe about the Corona. But one thing, though, the most high is in control of everything. We know that it's man made, it's a proven, that it's a patent on it. That America got the patent on it. But uh the most high the one who wounds, the most high the one who heals. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. It reads, See now that I, even I am he, there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. It says, I kill. And I make a lie. So all these people that's dying from this COVID-19, this coronavirus, and all these other viruses, and all these other ways of death, people so strung out on this coronavirus, they forget it's other things more deadly than the coronavirus that people die from every day. <laughs> but it says, he wound, he kill, and he make a lie. I wound and I heal. So all the people that's coming back from this coronavirus, this thing that they're trying to do to implement martial law. See, the brothers just in the know, know what it's leading up to. It's leading up to that chip. It's leading up to a new world order. Of They is trying to be like the most high, man. They're trying to govern your life, man, and make you live like they want you to live, man. They want to know your every move and what you doing and try to try to try to just be Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah man what they can't do man they only mortal man it says uh it says uh neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand because if the most I want you man the most I want you man point blank period man and it's something else that the Edomite 
looking fella through the spirit we can tell that he's not Jake said man he says this thing is bigger than uh 9-11 well guess what the day that's coming and the times that's coming is bigger than 9-11 and it's bigger than this COVID-19 pandemic and it's called Jacob's Trouble man So, uh, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, and verse 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that there is none like it. Even the times of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Yeah, man, it's Jacob's trouble, man. It's also trouble for these other nations, too, man. Because while we catching our beat down, but we at the end of our beat down, these other nations getting beat down too. Look at Moab. Look at Edom. They starting to crumble, man. They starting to fall slowly but surely. Look at the dollar, man. But this time that's coming, man, and it's going to be no other day like it, man. What's that, Daniel? Daniel 12 and 1. This is... The book of Daniel, chapter 12, and verse 1. And that and at that time, Michael, and at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble. That's that Jacob's trouble that we just read about. Such as never was since there was a nation. Huh. I mean, this is a time like no other time ever before, man. Even the same time, and at that time, thy people, who are the Israelites, who are the elect, shall be delivered. Because only the elect is getting delivered. The two-thirds got to catch that, catch that hell, man. They got to catch that second death, man. They got to catch the missiles, man. They got to catch them. The diseases, those plagues, the famine, man. It says, even everyone that shall be found written in the book, man, the book of life, man. The new chapter, man, start with that new world. With Jake on top, man. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of a death that followeth. We looking for a new heaven and a new earth. Where dwelleth righteousness, man? With our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, by Yahweh Shai, along with King David and the twelve. And we get to meet Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all those famous prophets that we read about. We know all things, man. Come on, man. That's where we got to come. So the hell with this place, man. So with that, man, I give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Kadash, double honor to the elders, peace and blessings, send salutations, man, to the hopeful elect, man, keep pushing, man.